allocated for the welfare of laborers in Delhi. To date, only 2 lakhs spent. Over 6 lakh laborers are working 24 hours to make Delhi a world-class city. Durga Devi, by law, should have more than a plastic sheet above her head. A clean living quarter with toilets and drinking water. But there is nothing. On paper, the government claims they have spent around 25 crores on health and education schemes. On the ground, however, there's little evidence of that. Lacks of construction workers. member committee to look into welfare of laborers working on all Commonwealth Games related projects. The organization PUDR alleges that companies are saving hundreds of crores by denying the minimum pay and overtime wage to workers. In its complaint, PUDR says living conditions are dismal. There are no doors and tin sheets have been provided to cover the entrance. In most huts, there is no provision for locking rooms and little protection from winter winds. No fans for the summers and cooking is done within the room. According to the law, 10% of the total cost of any construction project should include housing for laborers. But most companies cleverly put this under overheads. And so, there is by and large no accountability. NDTV contacted two of the biggest Commonwealth contractors, JMC India Limited and the Aluwalia contractors, building huge stadiums for the games in the capital. While JMC has not responded, Aluwalia contractors working for EMAR MGF has put the blame on the government. Aluwalia contractors say, and I quote, It may be pertinent to note the Delhi state government has levied a labor welfare cess on the construction industry and 1% of the value of work done is deducted from the bills of all the contractors working in Delhi state on this account. Although a huge amount running in several crores has been collected, but the government has failed to utilize this money for the purpose it has been collected from the construction projects. 